Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Sea Fever. This is a 2019 film. It was released in April of 2020 though, so it's really kind of a new movie. And it runs about an hour and a half. It stars Hermione Corfield, Dag Malmberg, and Jack Hickey. The description, the crew of a West of Ireland trawler marooned at sea struggle for their lives against a growing parasite in their water supply. This is Sea Fever. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Um, this movie is purely based off of research. Um, the next couple weeks, um, that's what I'll be on because we haven't had too many new movies come out and theater type-ish movies, but there are some coming this Friday, so hope you are all able to watch those somehow. Um, that, that'll be the new movies for everybody to watch, but I'm going off of my research, and uh, this is still kind of a newer movie, so this could be something for you to kind of seek out. Um, it was supposed to be released here in 2020. It might have made some theaters, and uh, you never know, you know, with these uh, kind of festival movies. So... Um, first and foremost, if you would like to have any kind of outside YouTube, uh, experience with me, I have a Facebook, Danny's Movies and Music. If you would like to look that up, I have some bonus content on there and I have a lot more followers than YouTube. So, um, yeah, let's talk about this movie. Like I have already kind of just said just there was that this is kind of a festival movie. It says on the advertisement, if you were to go online and watch their, um, you know, their kind of advertisement video, it says that they won some awards at some festivals. So, it definitely has that feel. Uh, we don't know anybody in this movie, obviously. Uh, we don't know really what this movie's about. And uh, we do get movies like this every once in a while. But I would happen to say while I was watching that it mostly reminds me of these kind of movies that are in space. Uh, I think that the, you know, kind of parasites and virus and uh, kind of creatures or anything that would come out of uh, nowhere, uh, those kind of movies that we get like that are mostly in space and people can't bring it back to Earth. But this is kind of a different idea that it just happens at sea and, uh, you know, with all the technology we have nowadays, with all the, you know, advancements in learning about the sea and what kind of dangers are out there for just some random fishing crew to, you know, have a problem like this, I think is kind of a unique idea. So that has it going for it. Um, the thing that it does not have going for it right off the bat for me and probably for some other people is... Um, they're trying to paint this image for you that science is cooler than any kind of fairy tale you can come up with. So really what they're saying is that when I compare them to the, you know, these sci-fi movies out in space of people not wanting to bring some creature or some virus back to Earth, they're saying their story is cooler because it's real. It's a real parasite, you know, that they're dealing with that is really in the ocean that people can encounter. And so, you know, that's fine. You know, and people can argue about that point. But honestly, science isn't always the craziest thing out there. You know, even though there are some real scary things here on Earth, you know, when make, people make movies about alligators or crocodiles or, you know, tigers or the African wild, um, it can be interesting, it can be scary, but I kind of like the sci-fi movies, you know, where people are just out of their minds and, you know, and we're making stuff up. So this movie doesn't need to really say that at the beginning, but it does. So, you know, whatever you think about that point. Um, so as we get into the movie, um, our first main character is this girl that I think she's in college or university and then I can't really tell as the movie goes on because she seems like a full-fledged like 
scientist, but just not like the main one in her department area. I don't know. But she gets sent on this, um, you know, assignment. And so it's her. It's her stuff. It's her job. And she's very dry character. She's quiet. She's shy. She doesn't like to talk to people. Right off the bat, this fishing crew thinks she's bad luck because she's a redhead. And things just go from bad to worse, you know. So, um, I would say that the way that the, the advertisement kind of puts it out there is that it's supposed to be kind of a horror film. And like I said, when you're dealing with science and you're trying to make this almost a documentary, I don't get the horror feeling out of this movie like ever. Uh, there's some crazy things that happen and um, I can, you know, suggest watching the movie because of those things that they're so crazy. But um, I just uh, I just never got the feeling that we were in a horror film. You know, I, I felt like everything was very real and reality based and everything that was happening to these people were just kind of medical, you know, abnormalities or really crazy things that can happen when you get a parasite inside of you. So that part was, you know, not as scary as the movie kind of probably wanted itself to be and it kind of does it to itself. And the actors play along, they do their parts, they have these things happen to them, they are freaking out, they don't want to be on this boat, you know, the whole scene is tense, but um, I don't really appreciate how the movie ended, I don't really appreciate how the movie felt, and um, the acting is subpar because we don't know who anybody is, but overall I kind of appreciate the movie, and I think that People can have their own opinion on how scary or how reality-based it is because it's a wide range for me. And uh, I think that everything about this movie kind of screams that it wants people to watch it because it's throwing something out there for you that might be a little unique that you haven't seen before. But it kind of feels like something else so it can be compared to things. And it does have enough tenseness and enough scares, whatever you want to call it to entice you to watch this movie. So I'm gonna give Sea Fever a B minus and I hope that you're able to watch it. It is supposed to be a new movie released in April this year. So try and give Sea Fever a watch and thank you for watching my video guys. I'm gonna give it a B minus. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy movies. Thanks.